Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you some results for tuning of the cooling system on this MacBook Pro. So we didn't open the machine yet and so this is running at stock configuration with its uh, 96 watt power adapter and we will check the performance before and after. We are running Cinebench R23 and usually it starts throttling after a couple of runs so we will have like I, I would say maybe two or three runs uh, by pressing the start button as soon as the test finish and we will then uh, proceed to open the machine uh, do some cooling put some cooling pads around the machine and improve the thermal transfer to the chassis and then of course uh, swap the thermal paste and check the results afterwards so let me just get through three runs of R23 so first run is finished, 7,786, so we're already uh, running very very slow for this kind of supposed to be i9, so as you can see, just already the first run is already slower than uh, a lot of 6 core i7 that we build, but we'll see how it goes after the third one, let's see. Second run is doesn't doesn't really throttle that much I think but let's see the score it doesn't seem to be actually that slower 6000 let's do the third run now it's even slower at this right <laughs> there's a huge delay between this, the click and the start yeah. I think this third run is really getting slow but we'll see the score yeah, 5,000. So yeah, after the third round we are at 5,000 R23 points. Uh, okay then, now we will open it and do some modifications and then we'll check the scores afterwards. Almost ready to be assembled. Here's a quick look of some of the things we did. Just some screw left and we are good to go. And it booted up and we waited a little bit for everything to set up because uh, I don't know if you know about that but macOS takes a little bit to actually settle when you boot it up and the scores when you launch the first in the bench if you don't wait some times it's gonna be lower uh, so we'll see the first score it's probably gonna be higher than than, uh, than before and the, the most important thing is that it will not drop as drastically as it did before with the without the tuning that we did so the fans are starting to ramp now it, it took a lot more to ramp up while previously it would start to to, to, to scream as soon as you started the test so let's see the first score and then we'll launch the second straight away so it's 8100 so the first score is very similar but the most important thing is that we're not going to drop as low as 5,000 in the third run. Let's see. End of the second run. Previously uh, we reached 6,000. Let's see. We're still 8,000. <laughs> That's good. And now let's do the third one, which previously scored 5,000. And here we are, closing in with the third run. I think we dropped. No, it's actually better. That's great. So we also got a higher, higher score than the first one. Well, that's it, guys. The machine is working great. It's impossible to touch. I mean, it was very hot before with a, with a normal cooling, but this way this part of the MacBook is very very hot much hotter than, than before but the scores that you've seen are much much higher like the third run is 3000 more points than before and so with the help of a fan of a cooling fan on the, on the, on the back it will just perform amazing compared to, to before uh, this tuning and that's all for the video ciao